What's up, David Dreamers Mathers here? Today we are playing some Pokemon Sun and Moon. Ultra Moon. It's Ultra, <laughs> Ultra Sun and Moon. And you know, we got a team. We're on a showdown. We got a team with Z, Z, Z Tailwind, uh, Toucan. And uh, I think it's a lot of fun. So Z Tailwind also raises the crit rate. So it's basically like the Tailwind plus Focus Energy. And I think that's pretty pretty crazy with the, the Bullet Seed Rock Blast skill in combo. I think that's pretty interesting. What else is this thing? He's sheer force, that's kinda dope actually. Does it even get any moves that would kinda take advantage of that? Not really. That's pretty dumb. <laughs> sheer force, but just nothing to abuse it with. Alright, whatever. Anyway, we got a team. We got a uh, Bandit Flareon. Uh, we got uh, Contrary Superpower Lorantis. Uh, we got Life Orb, Swords Dance, Zen Headbutt, Lycanroc, um, Flame Orb Guts, Luxray, and uh, Stealth Rock, Rapid Spin, uh, Sand Slash. So we're gonna go for it. Uh, yeah, very weak to water, but it's all good because PU doesn't have water types. They've all been banned. The more you know. Uh, oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to break the veil there. Uh, Alright, we got a battle. He doesn't have any water types, just like I said. And I don't say good luck anymore, I just say have fun. Uh, let's see what he's got. He's got Zangoose Golem. Golem's potential lead. Ninjask. It's like doesn't baton pass anymore, so it's, I don't know what the plan is. Banded, just like NBZ back in the day. Uh, Aggron, Dusclops, and Lilligan. So I'm predicting like Stealth Rock Golem lead, if I had to guess. So I think Lorantis would be my best play, but if he leads something like Ninja, that would be pretty bad for me. I should just lead Sand Slash. Sand Slash kind of takes on his entire team, bar Lilligan, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> and of course, and of course he leads Lilligan. Oh god. Well, I go right into Lorantis on the Sleep Powder. Alright, here's for Quiver. What does this thing do? Like, Z... Psychium Z, I think is its, its move on a Leech Life. Let's see how much this does. Ooh, that does a lot. Can you knock me out? Probably. If it's Z. But, I could probably also knock him out with something. Come on. Hidden Power. That does zero. And we get our health back too. Hell yeah. <laughs> and so that thing's gone. That means my Sand Slash just has fun versus the rest of his team. Uh, especially if I can get rocks up too. Break a sturdy and like this thing, this thing. This thing's gonna be tough to break actually. I'm gonna have to knock it off with Sand Slash for sure. I don't really have anything else. To hit it super effectively with though, which is a problem. I don't have any the toxic users to wear it down either. Uh, I'm gonna go Luxray. I'm just go with just get straight like and rock. I'm gonna do that. See swords dances. Uh, cool thing is I can just accelerate. I can even Swords Dance here, but I don't think that's the play. Yeah, he's got Sash, so let's see what he goes for. Nice Slash. Not enough. <laughs> now the question is, yeah, do I predict and go for Stone Edgers and Headbutt? No. I just go right for Accelerate and pick him off. Well, hey, he actually did make a play. And he's got Rocky Helmet too, damn. The cool thing is I have Sand Slash. This is actually an ideal opportunity for me to get up Stealth Rock. And this actually makes the play in the Sand Slash. I mean, an ninja ask. Cool thing is I can definitely uh, KO this guy with a rapid spin right now. I'm actually really excited. Look at that, I did a 15. I did a 15. We get the rapid spin KO just just a stunt. <laughs> Go dust claps. 
so I can knock you off, please. Oh, all right, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't even mind if this thing gets um, will o wisp because I kind of need to just knock this thing off. It's more important. Oh, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Here we go right into Flareon. Nice. Give me that flash fire boost. Hello. So we got Golem Resist. So I could superpower, but I don't want to. I think Flare Blitz will still do a lot. And he's gone. The Dusclops is gone. It was I didn't have Uvula anymore, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, I also like. I, I was gonna run uh, Guts Toxic, but I actually do like Bandit a little bit better because it gives it more survivability. As so he does decide to go Golem here, I just go right into Sand Slash. No reason not to. Golem cannot touch Sand Slash. Oof, a crit, and it does 25. Uh, yeah, I just click Earthquake. He has no nothing to stop me now. He's could be... Yep, <laughs> weakness policy. Okay, that's a little scary, but the crit stone edge still a little 25, so I'm not even really that scared. Yeah. I like that they changed the Earthquake animation. It actually like shakes the screen now, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I, I KO Agron, he has to go Zangoose here. Pretty sure I would speed Agron. I don't know though. We'll see, we'll see. As he decides to go Agron, he could be outspeeding me if he is max speed. Let me just check what the base speeds are on these things. Slash. Yeah. Alright, if he's. If we're. Wait, am I, I don't have any speed investment, I don't think. Yeah, I do not. So. Probably shouldn't have speed me. Yeah. Oh, he actually lives it though. I guess the stealth rock up. Should I rapid spin? There's no reason to. Is there? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure at least one of these guys can take it, like a guts quick attack. Yeah. I can rapid spin here. I could knock off too, actually. I feel like knock off might be the better play, just to get rid of his toxic boost. Although he might just KO me right here, for all I know. I'm at 42 though, and I'm a Sand Slash. I'm at 337 defense. Nice. And get rid of it with a crit. It goes the Toxic Orb. Alright, nice. And we just Earthquake. And I mean, he could probably KO with another move other than Knock Off, which he does. And who do we want to win with? Lorantis? Can. Right, with Luxray hasn't seen play yet. Let's go Luxray. See if we can actually take a hit from this thing. Nice. So Luxray coming in with the final KO. So almost everyone has a two cannon gets to play, which is cool. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and save that replay. I like to save replays. So I like to share them with my friends. So some of them don't always watch this. Let's get another one though. Also, shout out to Mew Moore with the music in the background. Big fan of his lately. We've been listening to uh, some of his songs even without uh, playing Pokemon at the same time, which is, you know, it's a big deal. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not louder than my voice right now. Ooh, crazy looking team. He's also got a Flareon, but he is extremely weak to our eyes. Which makes me believe he has three Pokemon that can take on my Sand Slash, though, which is scary. Archaeops is usually a pretty solid lead, or usually a pretty common lead, I should say. So I still kind of want to lead Sand Slash. That Lantern is pretty kind of scary. I'm going to lead Sand Slash anyway. Alright, he does lead that, so I should be able to get my rocks up. Rocks are going to be important. He could have DeFi. <laughs> That was pretty good. <laughs> uh, he's got to have Earthquake, right? I have 
a lot of trouble switching into this monster. I'm gonna go in. Nice. <laughs> that actually worked out. Still not great though. Yeah. Underrated for you. Uh, I think I just get to click Stone Edge. He doesn't really have a switch in. Okay, come on. Nice. Alright, it goes down to Sash, and I can just accelerate. So you take this thing down. Okay, cool. So that thing's gone, that big old threat. <laughs> now Egbert comes in. I kind of want to just sort of don't edge this thing. Okay, that does over half. Let's see. Trick room? Okay, easy. Cool. <laughs> I had a feeling that something crazy like that would pop out. Uh, and now is my chance to get up Stealth Rock because I do have speed. Because Stealth Rock is going to do a lot of damage to Articuno and Flareon as he actually goes for Trick Room. I'm going to go Lorantis for sure because I, Lorantis is a big fan of Trick Room. <laughs> Uh, Flareon is a big threat, of course, uh, but I do have to speed it in the Trick Room, so I feel free to click Superpowers. He actually crits me with Sludge Bomb, oh god. I mean, there's no reason to hold on to this thing at 15, at 11%, is there? Also, sorry if you heard the phone vibrations. I'm like, he could probably just click. Yeah, there's no reason. I, I, I gotta sack this thing. Yeah, he clicked Kick a Drain. He knew the right play. He knew. He knew. I do have Quick Attack here. I don't know if that's gonna KO, though. Actually, I'm at 394 Banded. I bet Flare on KO. I have nothing other else to do. <laughs> nice. Okay, Flare on picks him off. But I'm banded in a quick attack now. So he'll probably go like Ursa Ring and set up, which is really scary. Uh, but Sand Slash does kind of help me out with that thing, thankfully. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Sand Slash. You got your rocks up, buddy. As he goes for Facade without. Okay, there's the Flame Orb, but yeah. Uh, thing is pretty fast, so I'm just gonna earthquake though. Okay, that's some nice damage. This facade just blows me away. The, the difference in damage there is actually wild. Okay, it's time for a two cannon tailwind, I think. Is it? I'm gonna die on this thing. Okay, I do have to speed it. I have to speed his whole team, honestly. There's no reason to bullet see though. I'd, I'd rather take the clean Brave Bird KO. Articuno, why? why? Oh, this thing's actually kind of fast. What? Alright, we go Flareon <laughs> in that case. Oh, wow. attack no <laughs> oh he dodged yes <laughs> okay it's not over yet it's not over yet okay double quick attack on the dodge <laughs> helps me a lot uh but he can he goes into his own uh i think i just quick attack i don't i don't need this for anything else that is clean damage superpower nice i think i might just win with uh two cannon here Ooh, maybe not He's speed invested, but probably not. If he's max speed, it could be an issue. You know what? I'm fine. He's he's at minus one. He even for superpower. He's not even in gut set, so he's probably banded. Z tailwind time. It's time. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes.
Alright, we Brave Bird here just for the clean. We don't want to risk Rock Blast. Ooh, good play. Do we die? No, we don't die. Okay, so now we Bullet Seed. As he protects, nice. Okay, he's gonna probably go for the double. Protect. I guess that might be his only play. Actually, that probably is a good play because he might outspeed my Luxray. Why am I so slow on this? Alright, this down takes that down. Oh my god, he's about to beat me with Flareon, isn't he? <sighs> this is a get quick attack. <laughs> GG well played, he says. GG will play for sure. Ooh, is he banded in a quick attack? Okay. I'm not sure what the play was there. Is he not max speed? He might not be. Cool. Alright, so we get a nice win there. I appreciate it. That was, that was a great game. Cool, 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 cool. I'll, you know what, I'll link him. Uh, just so, uh, you know, he seems like a cool guy. I respect him. He's gonna he make school teams. He's a nice player. He's, 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 he's pleasant to interact with. Oh, another cool team. See, this is what I like about about the lower tiers, man. You just see so many cool Pokemon that you just don't get the chance to see. Uh, cool thing is that two cannon with Tailwind just destroys him, which is awesome. <laughs> I should put more speed on this though. Let's hit 211. So, one more. I feel like 211 is a speed tier. <laughs> uh, let's see. You can lead Roselia. Predicting my Sand Slash lead would be a pretty good play. Uh, but Mesprit's also a very common lead. I feel like I should have something that deals with this. I guess Lorantis kind of deals with both of those potentially. I'm going to try it. Elite, what the hell? What is this with these people? Like, just. Predicting me hardcore. I don't think a super power will even KO this thing. And I feel like he might just click Fire Blast. Like, why wouldn't he? <laughs> Damn it. Critical hit of all things. I lived that. I lived that. Swords Dance? Honestly. Swords Dance looking real strong right now. Really, really looking strong. Passimian? Oh, he's gotta be scarfed, isn't he? He's gotta be. Oh, come on. Alright, he actually switches. That is nice. I'll knock off here as he goes for his own rocks. Light clay. Oh, he's one of those. Disgusting. I just realized this entire team is physical. <laughs> Wait, what? How did I win two games? Uh, toxic gross. <laughs> hmm.
kind of just got a stall in that. So, I'll go for it. <laughs> uh, if you some of the psychic here, that could be bad. Oh, yes! Nice. So we go down to the toxic as we do get rid of his rocks. And let's see. Like a rock. He's probably outspeeding me. Like a rock, loud speed. Little Stone Age KO though. <laughs> There's no way I'm winning this game. Let's go for it. He's gonna get his rocks up as I just get my sword stance going. This goes Pukamaku. And we dodge, and he dodged. Well, I said we dodged because we dodged the enders out. Uh, but let me guess, he must be like, he could be unaware. Lock. Cool. Kind of want to just accelerate just so in case he is in your doubt. Minimize the damage I take and see actually <laughs> recovers. That's unfortunate. Let's see, I'll find out if he's uh, unaware. <laughs> Yep, he's unaware. Okay, so I, mi I misplayed there. Definitely misplayed there. Well, we have a chance to crit, right? Wow, how am I getting these, these horrible rolls? Come on, crit, crit, crit. There it is! It's <laughs> a nice justice. All right, now we find out if he's Scarf. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know what kind of Silvali he is. Silvali Steel. Damn it. <sighs> Why did that have to be Silvali Steel? Uh, we could go right into Flareon, I guess. Thank you for the guts boost. Not really. <laughs> but I can just click Flare Blitz here and something dies. Sacks an Esprit. And he goes this thing. Passing me in. Yeah. Wait, I have Tailwind up, my friend. I have Tailwind up, my friend. Hello. I love it. People do forget about Tailwind sometimes. Okay, go Lux Ray. Uh, I kind of need Lux Ray to beat the Silvali. I don't think I can beat the Pyroar. Alright, he goes to that thing. <sighs> Click Tailwind. <laughs> and he knocks me out, hopefully. Okay, no, he does not. Ooh, nice crit. KO me, KO me. Why not? <laughs> okay, we go down here. Parting shot. Fine, I'm going down either way. And now if you go Pyroar, that would be ideal. <laughs> nice. Alright, 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 alright. So I get a turn to outspeed this thing with my Luxray, which is exactly what I needed. Hell yes. Cloud charge KO, you think? I might want to risk it just so I don't get the attack drop. Ah, uh, uh, GG. Man, I have, I have a chance and I blew it. I actually had a chance to win that game. That's insane. How long have we been recording for? 24 minutes? Let's get one more. That was, that was a fun game, even though I lost at the end. I really should shouldn't have. I, like I, Wild Charge, why is Wild Charge only 90 power? Why is it 90 power with recoil? Why can't it be 90 power and no recoil at least? If it's gonna be, re if it's gonna have recoil, like, it should at least be like 100, 120. Oh, I see a Swana. I see a Gastrodon. 
How do I beat Weezing? <laughs> I don't. Alright, he leaves a Ridge Rock. So we're just probably gonna trade rocks here, I would guess. His weakness policy Ridge Rock was that thing called Big Boy. Something. Big Man. Big Boy Man. Big Boy Man, I believe, is the name. I'm gonna knock him off. I'm gonna knock off that weakness policy. If I've ever seen it before. <laughs> Go Weezy. Go Weezy. Oh, he's gonna stay in it because he wants that weakness policy boost. But go easy so I can knock off its black sludge. Go. Go. Okay, just the leftovers. <laughs> and he talked to me, damn it. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's just throw off an earthquake and see how much damage we do. I feel like I should double knock though. Yes! <laughs> Praise be to light. Alright, that's 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 actually huge. As now I can rapid spin. Sludge bombs, that does zero. Uh, what do we do now? Go luxury. He gets the burn. Wow. Alright, we got a Volt Switch. Uh, what is he going to do? A Sludge Bomb? I'm going to go back into Sand Slash. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he doesn't have any recovery, right? He could have Pain Split, I guess. I'll just knock off. Keeps him from getting any kind of Pain Split recovery. Sandslash is basically useless to me at this point, so I'll just keep knocking off. Yeah. every time. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Larynx just actually puts in work. Toxic. Ah, oh, it's disgusting. Uh, leaf bleed for the KO. Curse. Alright, I'll pick up another superpower. Actually, he's faster than me. Oh, he's not fast enough. Oh, because of Curse. Nice. So I just get my plus two. Is he just going to go Swana and knock me out with a Hurricane? I should go Skuntank, of all things. Hmm. Are you special? No, I can take that. I'm a plus two defense, my guy. Toxic damage is going to rack up, though. Yep. <laughs> I'll take it though, I'll take it. Definitely getting to the point where I can uh, tailwind it up. So, that's no problem. I kinda want a superpower here on the 
on the incoming Gastrodon. Nah, he'll stay in. He crits me! What a bastard! Alright. <laughs> Lycanroc does also put in some work right now, especially with the, the Gastrodon weakened to the point that it's at. So maybe Flareon's the play. Quick attack, and then we die to Aftermath. Nice. Okay, so now I get in, uh... Like an rock, I guess. <laughs> this thing's still kind of a threat. I can't set up Tailwind on it. Yeah, I gotta go like an rock first. Because he does go Gastron, that's unfortunate. So we headbutt, flinch him. No, we go right into two cannon, actually. Because this is a setup opportunity. As long as he doesn't skull burn me. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Everything about the world is wrong. Everything about the world is wrong. Come on, come on. Give me another crit. Yes. Come on. Yes. We have a chance still. Like rock can still pull this off. Okay, that Gastrodon's down. That's the only thing that like rock won't be able to KO. I hope. I hope Raichu goes down to a Stone Edge. <laughs> I really hope. If he actually goes into a Raichu. I'll happily take some clean damage on this thing. Ooh, 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 could that be? I wonder if that's Accelerog range. I wonder. Right, you. Alright, I like, like a rock. Uh, Swords of Dance. Versus Raichu. Alola. Accelerog is 52? <sighs> Wait, am I adamant? I'm jolly. Ooh, I'm light orb. Hell yes. No way, no way, no way. Okay, swan, swan, swan. Let's rock to 78. Oh, dude, do I just win with Accelerock? I don't even need to risk the Stone Edge misses. <gasps> baby, baby, baby. Let's rock to 78, just 93. Do I risk it? Do I risk it? It does... 78. But like, if he's defensive, that could be really bad. I feel like he's not defensive. Yeah! <laughs> GG! Glycanroc coming through. One of my favorite Pokemon from Sun and Moon. Coming all the way through. I love it. I love it. Alright guys, that was a hell of a good live. I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Uh, thank you for watching. And, uh, more PU guys keep dreaming peace out